And we lost to San Diego icon this week. After 43 years of broadcasting, Gloria Penner has passed away. She was a major part in the founding of KPBS in San Diego and was influential through her political reporting. Local San Diego legend Gloria Penner passed away this week at the age of 81 after battling pancreatic cancer for quite some time. Best known for her KPBS correspondence, Gloria is a pioneer in broadcasting and has paved the way for many women in the industry. Well, Gloria Penner um, has been well known for many, many years in the San Diego market as one of the first, if not the first woman uh, to be in broadcasting. The Women's Museum of California is here in San Diego and is located in Liberty Station. The museum will be hosting an event on November 9th to honor the life of Gloria Penner and to recognize the other women that have impacted the broadcast industry. So she won't be there physically, but I know she'll be there one way or the other. And so we're really pleased to make this uh, tribute to Gloria and her work, as well as other women who were broadcast pioneers in the 70s and 80s here in San Diego. And those are women who were also influenced by Gloria. I have my own Gloria story. If I hadn't met Gloria Penner, very likely I never would have got into television. For more information on the event, please visit www.womensmuseumca.org. So certainly we were all saddened uh, to learn this week, last Saturday, that Gloria Penner, um, who I've admired for a long time and many have, has lost her battle with cancer and passed away on Saturday. And she's a legend and she, her work, her inspiration will go on for a long, long time. I'm Briazzi, News Scene. And Gloria Penner has won many awards during her career, including seven Emmys, five Golden Mikes, and the Harold Keene Award for Excellence in Journalism. She will be greatly missed in San Diego and in news. And it's been a crazy week for some Hollywood celebrities. Astrid Mendenas Medina is here to tell us more in entertainment. Thank you. Well, Lindsay Lohan got a big fight with her mom, but now everything's good. Johnny Depp was also in a fight and in a car accident, but he's fine. Justin Bieber, not really, because this was definitely not an easy week for the singer. First, he became the most recent victim of prank calls that celebrities like Ashton Kutcher have received lately. Los Angeles police received an emergency message saying there was an armed person at the singer's house. Fortunately, it was a hoax. However, this was not all for the baby star. Justin was robbed during his U.S. tour, believe both his computer and camera were stolen in Tacoma, Washington. And after this incident, a naked picture of him has gone viral over the web. Bieber has denied his hands but the, his, his fans over the world don't think so. Now that it has been discovered that the boyfriend singer has distant relatives like Ryan Gosling and Celine Dion, it will be easier to get through his, this rough patch in his career. And in other news, politics are also for kids and Nickelodeon will prove it this Monday when the special Kids Pick the President, the candidates, goes on air. The network videotaped kids across the country to asking tough questions for both contenders. However, only Barack Obama will be responding since, according to the show's host, Linda Ellerby, Mitt Romney didn't take the time. Ha kids from past editions have elected the right candidate five out of six times, so this will definitely be a good preview of what could happen in November. And as usual, there are plenty of activities to do this weekend here in San Diego. Those options go from fundraising events to galas, and here are the highlights for this weekend. Today, two main events started. The Miramar Air Show is an excellent opportunity for all. Cute boys for girls and big airplanes for guys. What's not to love? Also, you can already visit the chocolate exhibition at the San Diego Natural History Museum. And there are more events. Like I was telling you, there are a couple of festivals, at La Jolla Art and Wine Festival, and also, well, you have the San Diego ukulele. So plenty of options to do this weekend for San Diego. Awesome. Thank you, Astrid. You're welcome. Thank you. Will it rain or shine tomorrow? We'll have their latest wake, uh, weather forecast when we return. Excuse me. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. My internet connection's acting up. Do you know anything about hot spots? You know, if you angle yourself 45 degrees to the north, your computer's Wi-Fi card will uh, extrapolate the router signal more efficiently. Enter. It's going to come up with a dialog box.
what a rainy day it was yesterday. Aaliyah Bohr is here with the latest in weather. Yes, it is. Hey, and David, it definitely was rainy yesterday, but the good news is it is tapering off. So for those of you who are going out tonight, you should definitely expect some clearer skies. Let's jump right into our current temperatures. At the airport, it is currently 65 degrees with a humidity at 73%. The winds are coming from the west-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The surf at the west-facing beaches is 2 to 4 feet, while the surf at the south-facing be beaches is 2 to 3 feet. The ocean is currently 68 degrees, and we can expect a sunset tonight at 619 with a sunrise tomorrow morning at 652. Looking around the county, our temperatures are currently in the upper 60s and 70s, and we can expect lows tonight in the upper 50s. Now let's take a look at our radar map of the storms that came through the county. As you can see, there's still some pockets down here, and we can see those through tomorrow morning. Um, but after that, we have a high pressure system coming in that is going to bring warmer temperatures. So you will see temperatures this weekend between 70 and the 70s. Um, the storms were caused by a low pressure system that came through and brought a lot of rain. But, um, you know, as you, as you can see, it's moving out of the area, so it should be all clear for the weekend. Let's take a look at our county temperatures. And um, down in uh, our county... Um, <laughs> Okay, all right, so I'll talk a little bit more about the storm we had going on. Um, there are also storms going on in the middle of America, if you want to switch to the second map. Um, they're, they're caused by a cold front that's coming down, bringing cold air from Canada that's meeting with warm air up from Mexico. Mexico and our county temperatures, let's take a look at those. We are going to see temperatures in La Jolla and Del Mar tomorrow at the beaches near 71 degrees with lows near 65. Uh, inland, Poway and Rancho Bernardo, you can see temperatures at 78 for your highs and lows at 59. In the mountains, Julian and Ramona, you can see highs around 70 with lows around 45. 45. And in the deserts, Borrego Springs, you will see temperatures with a high at 87 and the lows near 57. So, Nate and David, if you're going to the air show this weekend, we will definitely be having some good weather. Thank you. All right, thank you for joining us with this edition of New Scene. I'm David Matris. And I'm Nate Holmes. Good night.